So with this and then, oh my god, I just feel like that looks so good. Oh my god. That's insane. That's illegal. Piece of cake. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> First art video in the new space. I I could literally cry. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into detail about the new space uh, because I have a vlog channel that you could watch or I did do an organizing video for this new space. If you want to know anything else, go to the vlog channel because we need to get into some art. I'm itching to do some freaking art. It's been like two, three weeks. So what we're going to do today is I want to, I want to celebrate, okay? I want to celebrate my comeback. I want to celebrate the new space. And what do you do when you celebrate? You bake a mother freaking cake. Only we're not going to bake the cake. We're actually going to paint the cake. We're going to be constructing a cake with sculpted paint, styrofoam. I've got air dry clay, purple glue stick. Uh, we're going to make a cake that looks like a cake but isn't, you know that that thing where it's like, you see a picture of something and it's like a radio and you're like, oh my God, is that a freaking cake? Well, I'm gonna spin that and we're gonna do, oh my God, is that just styrofoam? <laughs> but it looks like a cake, you know what I'm saying? I've got my styrofoam on, or rather my, uh, my sheets of cake, <laughs> my layers of the cake all uh, baked and, and ready. You guys, I fell down a rabbit hole. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We're gonna be piping paint as if it's icing. So let's get constructing because I'm kind of nervous, honestly. All right, so I have four eight by eight by one inch discs that I'm going to glue together. So I think what I'm gonna do is glue two together and then the other two together to make like a two tiered cake. And I think I'm just gonna use some Gorilla Glue, classical Gorilla Glue. Okay, that's enough, yeah. We could pretend it's honey because we are baking a cake, wink, wink. And press it down. All right, I think that's good for the first two. Now let's get the other two glued together. Okay, so now we have our two layers of cake. All right, so I think what I'm gonna try to do is cut a slice out. I did find the center by measuring it and marking where four inches was, and that shows me the middle. So, oh, I don't know why I'm nervous. Okay, perfect. All right, so now that we have two Pac-Mans cut out and then their respective pieces of cake, I am gonna set this aside for now because we are going to get started on making these sort of cake textured sides that I'm going to press onto here. And that is why I got air dry clay. And what I'm making is like these little pieces that will go on the sides of these wedges of foam so that it looks like a like cake texture. And I am kind of texturing it with some sandpaper to make it look kind of bready. So I'm gonna grab a little clump of air dry clay. We're gonna flatten it out with my hands. So once it's flat, I take one of the wedges and I'm just gonna lay it on the side, one of the sides where I'm gonna be covering it with the clay. And then just gonna cut that out, take away the excess. Then I take one of my pieces of sandpaper. I just kind of stamp it on the clay to give it that like sort of bread kind of cake look. And then I'll take my knife and try to peel it off. So this is what it looks like. So that's basically it. And that's kind of how I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm So I have made four so far, but we also have to make a couple for the insides of the like Pac-Man mouth basically. Okay. So it is the next day and these are our little sides of the cake. What I'm gonna do is try my best to mix up a color that looks like, you know, just vanilla cake. So that's gonna be like a yellowy sort of, or maybe like a tiny bit of orange, but I'm gonna mix it up.
so we've got this one it's just been painted yellow so I'm gonna toast the edges so I kind of just have a little paper towel that I'm dabbing and dipping into some paint just get a little bit on and then I dab the edges and sort of blend it into the yellow I'm just going around all the edges and I do a little bit in the middle as well just to give it more more texture in the middle so now I'm going to pour out a few sprinkle a few I want to pour out some of these sprinkles so that I can get all the different colors that I want. And again, I am using this Gorilla Glue and I just have like a little blob of it on my palette over here and I'm dipping into it with this little popsicle stick that has not a sharp end, but it does come to a nice point. So I dip in to the glue, get a little blob of it on the tip, and then I'm going to get a little bit of this glue on to my cake side. And then with this same popsicle stick and the glue on the top, I'm going to just pick up one of the sprinkles and stick it right to the little glue. And then with the other side of the popsicle stick, I use that to press it into the clay. I'm just gonna repeat that same process until I like what it looks like. And that is basically it. So this is one side of a piece of cake. And I'm gonna repeat this process for all eight of these pieces. All right, so our little cake sides are done and they're all dried. The glue is dried, the little sprinkles look cute. So what I've gone ahead and done is one side of both of the pieces of cake. So this is what it's essentially going to look like. So the other side we have to glue on now. So I'm just using my hot glue gun and some glue sticks. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue all around the edges and then I'm just gonna place it on there and press it down. So here is this one. I think it looks pretty good so far. So I'm just going to do that same thing for the other piece of cake that we've got. So now we have our little like Pac-Man pieces and I have glued one side in so we just have to do the other sides. <laughs> So, Pac-Man mouth is filled with cake. Oh my God, I feel like that looks adorable. Like when it's all frosted, it's just gonna look so good. All right, just gonna do the other side of the other Pac-Man. And now we have, oh my God. I feel like that actually looks pretty real. So with this and then, oh my God, I just feel like that looks so good. Okay, so now, now we're gonna stress frosting this freaking cake. I'm just really nervous to mess this up. I don't know how I could. Okay, maybe it'll look ugly. I'm not a freaking cake decorator. All right, so for the frosting, I'm gonna be using this acrylic sculpting paint, Jaffrey. Jaffrey Art Material. So this one is in titanium buff, which I don't know if you can tell um, on camera, but it is already this sort of like cream color, which is literally perfect. I think I am going to use a piping bag one because I already set it all up with my tip um two that's it actually <laughs> there was only one point to that okay we'll start with that that was a lot so we'll see how that goes this is this is the setup oh my god wow Hell yeah. Isn't this crazy? This is paint. It's just so cool that this like stays and keeps its shape. We're gonna put the second layer of cake on top. Holy shit. This looks like a freaking cake. All right, so while this kind of sits for a second, I'm gonna put that off to the side because we kind of have to do the same thing for the little piece of cake. Ah! That was a really big air pocket. Oh my God, what? <laughs> oh my God. God. That's insane. That's illegal. Okay, so I've done this on this side and I feel like it looks even more like frosting. 
Are you serious? Like, are you actually serious? That's some spooky lighting for such a cute little piece of cake. <laughs> so while this is like sculpting paint, it is going to like hold its shape, but obviously I can't put anything too heavy on top of these things. I'm gonna let this dry. Is that a piece of cake? Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow to frost even further. Okay, so it is two days later, right? I let this dry for like two days. It's basically dry. Like it's got a little bit of give to it, but I think that's just how it's going to be. So frosting is dried in the middle. So now what we're gonna do is basically frost the entire outside of the cake and like cover the foam. Let's frost the cake. Yes. Switch the camera angle. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 Okay, we'll see where that takes us. Oh my god, it's a cake. Sour cream. <gasps> no, it's buttercream. <laughs> what? How dare you? How dare you come in here and say that? I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm just gonna do a bit and then we'll kind of flatten it out. I'm in love. Okay, look at that piece of cake. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> no? All right, so now that we frosted it, the next thing I'm gonna do is take my glue gun, which is not the correct size for the glue sticks that I got. Um, so, it, you know. <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do next is mix up a couple of colors of paint. I wanna do purple and pink to kinda do some like fun frosting bits on the top. <sighs> All right, and then I've got, oh my God, look at this freaking periwinkle. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a purple with this. Okay, so we have our two colors, the purple and pink mixed up, but I forgot that I wanted to do like a, I wanted to pipe like a border around it. So I think what I'm gonna do is pipe the border with just white. We're getting some of that cream white uh, back into the piping bag. It is pipe time. So I think what I'm gonna do, I have no idea what this technique is called, but I'm just gonna squeeze a bit out and then move down squeeze more move down what do you think it's looking great what i am a professional cake decorator officially in yep. this moment oh my god that looks so good. And it hides like the top part of the glue, mm -hmm. which is exactly why I wanted to do a border in the first place. Yep. All right, so I have more Gaffrey paint and this is in clear. So this is like perfect for when you're trying to get like different colors. So I'm gonna put a bit of this in both cups so that we can mix up the colors for pink and purple. We'll take some of the pink that we made. No idea if that's too much. And then we're gonna take some of the purple. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, so Sean's hoping, uh, nope, <laughs> Sean's hoping. Sean's holding the piping bag open. I'm just going to probably scoop one color on one side. All right. So I'm just going to try to 
try to squish them to the bottom or the tip. Very excited to be there. God. How do you use this tip? Get a close up of this. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> I think that looks ugly. It is, isn't it? It would look so good with just the one. Now what? How do I fix that? How do I scrape that up? We're gonna try. This channel is about trying! And failing! <laughs> I like that. So yeah, I have <laughs> I have these little heart sprinkles and I feel like they're the exact colors that we went for. I could do regular rainbow. What do you think of that? I don't know if I like that. Now I have to pick them all off. Strolling along down the... What's that word again? Street. All right, we're going to the happy hearts. The fire and why did that? What's the bane? Bane. All right, you guys, so we have finished the paint cake. The paint cake and the paint cake slice have been completed. <laughs> this was a lot. This is a lot of new for me, but also I am absolutely in love with this piece because not, on not only because it looks amazing, but because throughout this entire process, I kind of feel like I let go of this thing that I've been gripping onto for dear life in the last, I don't even know how many videos, um, where I just, I was trying too hard to be perfect all the time. And I feel like with this new setting and our new space, I, I feel closer to how I used to feel when I first started my channel than I ever have. Cause I had no idea how I was going to do this. Like I knew the pieces and the materials I needed, but how I was going to do it, how it was going to come out, if it was going to come out at all, I just went for it and it was a lot of fun. This piece is honestly gonna be s like so iconic for me um, as being the first piece, the first piece of art that we made in the new space, but also just being the first piece of art in a long time where I have I let go and I just let myself make a piece of art. It's hard to describe, but having a YouTube channel and making art videos, it's easy to fall into a hole where it, it feels like every project I do has to be groundbreaking, has to be amazing. And it's not from you guys, it's literally just something that I put onto myself. This sculpting paint, you should get it. You should get it, you should try it. Try it on something. You don't have to make this, you can make a donut. Um, also, I know people are gonna be, or maybe people are gonna be like, why are you making like a replica cake? Why are you making like a realistic cake and not just make a real cake? Like what's the point of this? One, it's art. Two, I like it. Three, <laughs> it was fun. And four, you know what you really could do is make like replica cakes. Like if somebody sent you a picture of their wedding cake and you made like a replica cake that they could keep forever. <laughs> so here's some close-up shots of our realistic paint cake.
So needless to say, we're going to do this again. We're definitely, I don't know if we're going to make a cake again, but uh, I want to make a donut. I feel like I keep saying donut. I want to make a freaking donut. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This video is very special to me. This was our celebratory I'm back to making art videos. I appreciate you guys being patient with me and for being here, watching this video sticking around while I moved. <laughs> it took me forever. I'm still doing it. Well, no, I moved into the house. But anyway, uh, go follow or subscribe to the vlog channel if you want to know more, if you want to like know the ins and outs of my life. And if you especially liked this video, I have a new thing down below this video. They're called Super Thanks. You can, it's basically like a tip the artist thing. At least that's how I'm looking at it. So if you especially liked this video, you can sort of tip the artist or do like a super thanks. It is down below this video right now. It's a little heart with a money sign in the middle. And you can toss me a tip for making a realistic fake cake. <laughs> Only if you want to. Don't feel obligated. I love you all equally. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel and my vlog channel. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It is at artsymadwoman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I forgot all my sprinkles. No, 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 no. Come on, it's a, it's a baton twirling, dude. Or like uh, in Cadet Kelly. Oh my When they God. do the, you know, and then. I don't think I've ever seen anyone wield a paint slug the way that you are. <laughs> it is a paint slug, isn't it? I feel like I, I've got like Bellatrix vibes. Oh my god! Okay, I'm leaving. <laughs>